Well, can you talk, why are we here today? How did you manage to get access to this earlier? Yeah, well, it's uh, obviously uh, just an advantage to have a practice here and also the links are getting set up, so we didn't really want to train in the back courts at 38 degrees today, so it was lucky that it was available. How's the preparation going with Mitch not in? How, how quickly do you have to restructure things now for the rest of the year? Well, we did that pretty much straight away as soon as he did that in the second quarter. So it was more so, um, you know, just getting the combination of Damo playing point, Bryce playing point Sunday and Tariko played point early this year when Damo was out for those six games. So it's not something new to him, it's just uh, moving our chess pieces around. So is Damo's injury in a way giving you a chance to practice things earlier in the year that you can now incorporate a bit more into your team? Yeah, unfortunately that happens every year, but... Uh, it's, uh, you know, Mitch is a big loss for us. He was starting to play really good basketball and being aggressive at the rim, so we're going to miss that. And, but we're also uh, tinkering with some other stuff at the moment and how we're suiting up and playing a little bit of small ball as well. And, and um, we'll see how that goes. Was Clint the silver lining out of it all? Yeah, well, he's going to get more minutes, really. It's, uh, we slide Bryce over the point guard position and that opens up the two and three a little bit more minutes. And... Uh, you know, even on Sunday, he, he came out aggressive. I think he missed his first two shots, but they were really good shots and being aggressive, and, and, you know, he got on a bit of a roll there. Does that make Bryce harder to guard, you reckon, if he's let, letting loose from three-point range and, and hitting him? Well, I think he's hard to guard anyway, so the other teams have, uh, you know, trapped him and doing all sorts of different things, and Wollongong collapse on him and um, make sure he's... Uh, um, you know, got a, a lot of attention out there and we've done a good job the last couple of weeks of navigating through that and finding the, the open man. Just on Clint, he's obviously a great shooter. Did mm. you just have the green light with him? Is he allowed to take whatever shot he wants, whether some guys it might be considered not a great shot, but it's right. a pretty good one? Is yeah, you're yeah, right. You're, you often tell him, and more times than not, we have to tell him to be aggressive. And my philosophy is as soon as he steps over half court, let it rip. So, um, you know, he has that ability, he's got a great shot. He's great hide on the shot, so no one can really get to it unless they're coming from behind. And um, you know, he can get on a roll pretty quickly. Is it all about confidence for a shooter mm. now that he's in that full confidence mode? Uh, do you even encourage him there? Yeah, without a question, it is. And you get a uh, you know purple patch of the basket looks three times bigger than what it is. And sometimes when you get your eye and you can you know not even look at the ring and it'll go in. So that's. Uh, that's the perception for a shooter and you've got to follow it through and on the court. So much criticism during the year that you haven't had enough scorers. He comes in and then Tariko can be hot and cold and Bryce does his job. But do you think now you've sort of got enough scorers to make a real impact on the front? Yeah, we haven't changed our roster. It's uh, the same. So, you know, we've rocked uh, 100 points a couple of times. It's just not our style to get out there and shoot the ball quickly in the first six seconds. You know, we'll take the fast breaks when they're there, but. We're built on defence. We don't want to get into a uh, run and gun style of play. That's not what we're made up for. And so the scores aren't as high as normal. But I think if you look at the shooting percentage, we're pretty good. On your offence, you seem to have, I don't know whether changed it, but there seems to be a lot more activity, you know, a lot more cuts and a lot more movement. Has mm. that been a conscious effort to change up a little bit? Yeah, we felt, we'll, I think that game we had 39 three-pointers and we were nailed to the three-point line and that's... Uh, it's okay every now and again, but you've got to have activity. And same thing, the activity you're hard at getting boxing out for rebounds, and our rebounds are going up, and our activity's gone up instead of waiting on the three point line like the NBA do. Uh, Illawarra, what do they bring? Uh, they've had such a roller coaster season, haven't they? They can beat the best teams and lose to the worst teams. Oh, they're very talented. You know, you've got two MVPs in the league, and well, Jackson's won three championships over there, so. You know, we're, we're very mindful how good they are. They've won three of the last four games and uh, we'll prepare well for them. But right now, it's, we're more worried about ourselves. You know, we're playing great basketball. We've uh, picked up the intensity the last three weeks. We're sharing the basketball and uh, we want to continue to do that. You beat them by, sorry, beat them by 40 the first time. Is there, a, is there a sense of fear for you that they come into this game thinking, oh, we should get this job done and we don't have to do much more than out on the court? Yeah, well, it's, we, we've got to prepare ourselves. We've got to qualify first for the playoffs, and which, which we haven't done. So we want to qualify as fast as we can and then trying to get a good position in there. But uh, the first job is winning at home and um, everything else will take care of itself. Do you feel vindicated now after this little run from all those questions about adding players, changing your team, slumps? Now you've gone and beaten three very good basketball teams in a row. Do you feel vindicated in a way? Uh, 
I don't really look at it that way. It was more so putting confidence in the guys. We know we have the ability here, and it's it's the same. You can have a less talented team that plays great team sport. You know, you look across any lines with even the Eagles last year had cruel with injuries halfway through the year, but they were playing good team basketball. And we know the chemistry is a big part of winning. Uh, we have that. We just weren't playing great basketball. Now, the last two weeks, we've got back to playing Wildcats basketball, which is have your mates back and sharing the basketball and playing at high intensity. And, and it doesn't really matter who hits the floor. As long as we're doing that, we've been successful. Is that the reason why you've gone with Sunday for the rest of the year, rather than looking at the potential to bring in a special dispensation player? Yeah, look, we, the, 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 the rules are so vague with that. So you can bring in a great player and then they say, no, you can't play. So. And it disrupts, you know, coming in this part, we're really comfortable where we are. We've uh, played without a point guard for six games without Damo early in the season and we handled that well and um, we think we can handle this well and hopefully uh, Mitch gets back for the playoffs, but that's going to be a week by week uh, situation. Can you talk about Sunday and what, and what you like about him? Just he's competitive, he's got great rebounding skills, although, you know, he hasn't got much uh, court time this year, but uh, he competes and Look, if there was 12 men on the roster, I would have signed him in pre-season. You know, he was one of our development players from here, went over to college, came back, and he, he's certainly a, a NBL player. Um, the clashes with Illawarra have been interesting. This year's been a bit of feistiness in them and a bit of issues with after, after the games with not shaking hands and yeah. lodging reports. How, how's the relationship between the clubs? Yeah, well, I think the last one was a little bit, with Greg getting fined, was a little bit uh, over the top, but that's what the... That's what it is, but like I'm old school. We compete hard. You get beaten, you shake a man's hand, and for the other person doesn't shake your hand, that's that's up to them. But um, certainly don't lose any sleep over it. Coached a lot of great teams. Mm. You spoke about the chemistry. Is the chemistry here as good as what you had in your championship season? It's very similar. Obviously, it's uh, how you develop as a team. Whoever wins this champion is going to be the team that comes together and plays the right way. We have that capabilities. We're starting on that at the moment, but there's still a long way and we'll have a lot of challenges in front of us and see how we respond to it and I can tell you in a couple of weeks. Cheers, thanks guys.